Nate Hawley's trial ended yesterday after three days. He was found innocent by the 12 jurors for both kidnapping and felonious assault of his ex-girlfriend, Sierra Tackett. Since the testimonies of Tacky and Holly show major differences, I decided to break down the three main reasons why Holly was found not guilty. Tackett said in the early morning of November 3rd, Holly came to her house uninvited, and when she got into his car, they spoke briefly. She said that when she wanted to get out of the car, he sped off without consent. Holly, on the other hand, said it was Tackett's idea to go for a ride, and when she got into his car, it was a normal encounter and they left without any problems. She also testified to saying there were multiple times that she asked to get out of the car, but Holly said he did not want to leave her outside alone for her safety. Now that point explains why there was not enough evidence to convict him of kidnapping in the first degree. The next point of difference is the incident in the car when Tackett hit her head off the window. In Tackett's testimony, she said she was trying to get out of the car when it was parked, but Holly forcibly grabbed her to the point she hit her head off of the driver's side window. In Holly's testimony, he said she was trying to get out of the car moving 35 miles per hour, and he was only trying to stop her from getting hurt. He did admit to accidentally hitting her head when he was trying to keep her from jumping out. Finally, Tackett said that Holly strangled her with his hands and also used his open hand to hit her in the face, which is where the felonious assault charge came into play. Holly said during his testimony that he never once touched Tackett's neck or struck her. His case was supported by the lack of evidence of markings or bruises on her face and neck when she came to the health center and the police station. Overall, for the charges placed on Holly, there was not enough evidence beyond a reasonable doubt to convict him.